How's it going, beautiful Welty family? Once again, right here, your instructor, Rosendo Rodriguez from South Coast Welding Academy, Houston, Texas. All right, come check this out with me. So for today's video, we're gonna do 3G MIG root at different temperatures, all right? Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Come check this out with me. First thing first, before we do our 3G MIG root, make sure that we prep our plates, okay? Make sure that we clean the back, the front, and the bevel. Make sure it's nice and clean, all right? Also, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, a 530 second gap, all right? And a small little landing, all right? Just enough to take away the, that sharp edge, okay? So don't go off on it. Don't be doing any uh, one eighth or this big old major landing. All right, just a little tiny bit. All right, check this out. So we have our bevel. Okay, we're gonna do our mid root. We're gonna go downhill. Okay, whenever we go downhill, okay, I want you to do C's. Okay, they're gonna look like this, little C's. All right, side to side. So, whenever we start doing our root, I want you to pause two seconds. Pause two seconds. All right, two seconds on each wall, but they're fast two seconds. All right, so you're going to do your little C's. One, two, 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 and so on. All right, you're going to notice that when you start going about three quarters of the way, all right, your puddle is going to want to beat you. Gravity wants to pull it down real, real quick. Okay, so move with it. Move fast, all right? Don't let that puddle beat you, okay? Also, I want you to, I want you to stay. So you have your puddle right here. I want you to stay on the very edge. Your wire should be on the very edge of your puddle. If you shoot your wire way behind, what's going to happen, all that metal is going to build up towards you instead of outwards, okay? Make sure that you have your, your wire right on the edge. If you have it too far, though, too far out, what's going to happen, your wire is going to miss that puddle, and you're going to get uh, whiskers. They call them whiskers. So be careful with that. Make sure you're about maybe uh, a 16s, a 16s inside that puddle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start uh, a route downhill. Remember, you want to go side to side, but they're going to be tiny little C's, okay? Also, pause on each wall. Pause about two seconds, two fast seconds, okay? Small little C's. All right, here we go. All right, check this out. Make sure that puddle is not beating you, all right? Side to side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, two quick seconds, all right, on each wall. Little C's. Make sure you stay on the puddle, all right? Nice, nice. All right, come check this out. So we did our route downhill. On this route right here, we ran it at 17. That was our temperature, okay? Our wire speed as a 180. It's at 180. So I want to show you later on what a route's going to look like if you go too hot. We're going to compare them, okay? This route right here was at 17. Wire speed's at 180, okay? Now, after this one, we're going to do one with a lower temperature. We're going to do it at, at 16. Same wire speed, though, okay? We want to see how much penetration we're going to get, okay? All right, now come check this out with me. So here, on this MIG route, our temperature was at 18. The wire speed was at 200. Now, if you come see this right here, 
Look at our root. Our root became so, so flat and thin. Okay, so, so what happens here, when your root is too hot, you're going to see your puddle dripping really, really fast. It's so, so loose, okay? So it's going to cause you to move faster, and you're not going to get enough penetration. So be very careful when you run hot, okay? Also, on this one right here, we ran our temperature at 17. Our wire speed was at 180. And our root, our root actually popped out about a 16s out, okay? This is what you want to see. So I really, I highly recommend y'all to do yours at 17 plus or minus. Play with your temperature. Go up or go down, okay? But start it at 17. Wire speed, 180 plus or minus. Also play with it. Go up or go down. Play with it, okay? So this is pretty good right here. I really like this one. Now this one right here, the last one we did, our temperature was at 16. Our wire speed was at 160. So we went way low on this one right here. And look what happened. Our root penetrated pretty good, but there's also a problem, okay? You gotta be careful because when your temperature's too low, what can happen is that you're not gonna be able to fuse your walls properly, okay? And on a Bentez, you know, that, that's gonna break, so it's not good. So be very careful, play with your temperatures, play with your wire speed, see which one uh, you like best. Uh, I highly recommend you to start working with this one, temperature 17 plus or minus, wire speed 180. Give it a shot, see what happens, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. We did 3G MIG root at different temperatures, okay? There you have it, 16, 17, 18 on temperatures, different wire speeds. All right, remember, play with it, okay? See what happens, okay? Hopefully, this video was very helpful for you, all right? Nothing is perfect over here. Uh, give, it, give it your best. We'll see what happens, all right? Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Rock. South Coast Building Academy. <laughs>